Hey there, everybody. Uh, Andrew here. I'm ready to crush it, to kill it today, to absolutely decimate the competition. Playing one of my uh, my friend's partners today, and he hasn't talked to me for weeks, so I, I don't know what's going to happen here, whether this is going to be a friendship ruining match, but either way, what I know is I'm here to win, and I'm here to have fun. We also like to have fun, but we do that by winning. Yeah, um, actually, I don't like to have fun, and I, I hate it. And my whole thing is, if you aren't having fun, then I've done my job. So that's exactly. My, that's my so job. Yeah. Hopefully, you're miserable. Then we'll, yeah. then we'll be happy. I'm miserable. Yeah. Uh, so I don't have anything to say bad against Andrew because you know he's 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 a prospect of ours in a way. <laughs> uh, but we'll we'll call this a test, Andrew. We'll call this a test. Your plucky go lucky energy doesn't match us. We're going to beat that shit out of you today so you yeah. can be full Kingsman material and be miserable like the rest of us so that you can make everyone else miserable. That's what we do. Uh, so John might not be talking to you for a couple more weeks. So Everything that guy said. <laughs> let's play. Yeah, let's play. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Multiplex Movie Warzone. We have got a great match for you today. We have got John Marr versus Andrew Just. Uh, with me on the desk, we've got Mr. Dylan Van Thine. Dylan, how you doing? I'm doing good. This should be an interesting one. we got two newer competitors with uh, very different strengths, it seems. So it should be an interesting combination. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, both 1-0, and both playing in their second match today. We will see who comes out on top. But with that being said, we will bring in our competitors and we will get going with round number one. Round number one is going to work like this. You'll get eight different questions in eight different categories. Uh, you'll have about 15 seconds to write your answer down on your whiteboard. If you get it right, you get a point. If you get it wrong, you do not get a point. Uh, if you manage to get all eight questions correct, you will be issued a bonus question, also worth one point. Reminder to both competitors that you have three repeats and a challenge to use throughout the match. Any questions before we get going? No. All right. Well, with that, then we will get into your first question, which will come in the category of the Oscars. What is the only Oscar that Silver Linings Playbook won? Still have yet to see this film. I own it on Blu-ray because I bought a bag of just like a craft on a random blu-rays <laughs> someone was like here's a bag of 50 blu-rays for 30 dollars on facebook and so i bought it <laughs> five four three repeat two. all right that is john's first repeat your question once again in the category of the oscars what is the only oscar that silver linings playbook won yeah i always assumed that i had this one on blu-ray which is weird because i never even seen it but i was like yeah i'm gonna watch it one day because i own it no, I don't. I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> it's it's a good movie. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We will start with Andrew. I said uh, best lead actress. And John? Best adapted screenplay? Best actress is correct for Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, so Andrew taking a one-point lead as we get into question number two. Mm -hmm. Which comes in the category of fantasy sci-fi. What sport does the titular character play with? Play with. Me, let me try that again. What sport does the titular character play with Jack and Hook? Uh, I watched this for the first time last year, and I I really do not get the hype behind this movie. <laughs> I think the problem is that I watched it for the first time as a twenty one year old adult, <laughs> which is not the age this movie's made for. <laughs> Five, four, three. Two, one, pens down. We'll go to John. Baseball. And Andrew. Yeah, I also said baseball. Both would be correct. Your next question will come in the category of crime. What specific job does Max have before he meets Vincent in Collateral? <clears throat> have you ever met Vincent? Um, you know, I haven't, but I have seen Collateral Beauty. Oh, uh, Jesus. Classic <laughs> film, John Nolan Love, in which Will Smith does something. Like, I saw it, and I can't tell you why the movie. Five, Will Smith does something. Four, that was the pitch. Three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Andrew. I said Taxi Driver. And John. Taxi Driver. Both correct. So your next question comes in the category of directors. 
Who directed His Girl Friday? There we go. Nice, easy one for me to not stumble over. Yeah, you know, nice five-word questions. We like that a lot. <laughs> but anyways, back to collateral beef. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, like, Will Smith writes letters to concepts, but those concepts are people, but those people are actors, I think. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to John. No idea. Frank Capra. And Andrew. I ripped a random Ivan Reitman, guys. <laughs> That's probably uh, both it, right? Incredibly looking for Howard Hawks. Okay. Howard Hawks. So with that, no perfect rounds as we get to question number five in the category of comedy. What 1989 film is about two men having to pretend that their murdered boss is still alive while a hitman attempts to track him down and finish him off? Both competitors go onto their boards long before I was finished with the <laughs> question. You know, maybe there was going to be a third act twist, much yeah. like the film Collateral Beauty. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Four. Three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Andrew. I said Weekend at Bernie's. And John. Yeah, starring the lovely Terry Kaiser, Weekend at Bernie's, yes. Both are correct. And next question comes in the category of drama. Who stars as director Joe Gideon in All That Jazz? I really like this movie. I watched this for the first time like last month and phenomenal. Yeah, like the last the, 10 minutes of this is just a massive musical number of him dying and it's <laughs> insane and it's a phenomenal. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to John. I'm not really hitting my stuff today. Warren Beatty? I have no idea. And Andrew? Yeah, I guess on this I just threw down Stanley Tucci. Both incorrect. Looking for Roy Scheider. Part of the Tucci gang. <clears throat> So we will get to your penultimate question, which comes in the category of recent releases. Okay. What 2021 film is about a former military contractor who, become, who becomes a professional poker player while attempting to get revenge on a colonel he worked with? Um, I, I would like to talk about this film, but, you know... I can't give any more information than what was. So anyway, the back to collateral. But I also don't want to give a free repeat of the question. Five, <laughs> four. It was a good movie. Three, <laughs> two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Andrew. Uh, the card counter. And John. <laughs> I put Wrath of Man. I have no idea. Uh, the card counter is correct. Andrew, getting that one right. As we get into your last question. So your final question comes in the category of animated. Who voices Manny the Mammoth in Ice Age? This franchise sucks. There are five. <laughs> <laughs> I don't disagree with you. On that. Not only are there five, none of the five are good. Like, we spawned a franchise off of one bad movie. <laughs> Four. Pretty sure it's got like three, series now, too. On two, Disney Plus. <laughs> one ends down. We will go to John. Ray Romano? And Andrew. Yeah, I think I think that's Ray Romano as well. It is Ray Romano. So at the end of round number one, I have a score of Andrew at six, John at four. Is that what you have, Dylan? That is what I have, yes. All right, then we will be getting into round number two. Round number two, as always, is our wheel round. We're going to bring up the lovely wheel from wheeldecide.com. Our wheel has eight different categories on it, as well as spinners and opponent's choice. Our competitor in the lead, in this case, Andrew, will get to choose whether he would like to spin first or defer. Mm -hmm. Whichever player spins, if they like what they get on their first spin, they can spin again. They can keep it or they can choose to spin again, uh, but they will be stuck with whatever they land on on their second spin. They cannot spin away if they get opponent's choice. Whatever category they end up with, they will get five questions worth two points apiece, or they can go to multiple choice for one point. But reminder that stealing is available in this round. The uh, categories that our competitors can choose from today are post 2010 horror anthologies, 2010's Charlie Day, romance, westerns, Friday the 13th, Matthew Vaughn directed. Actors and actresses and 2000s, and of course, there's also spinners and opponents' choice. Andrew, since you were in the lead, you can choose whether you would like to spin first or defer. Yeah, I think I'm going to defer here. 
All right, then we will bring in John's manager, Mr. Caleb Coho, for John's first spin. You land on post-2010 horror anthologies. Would you like to keep, keep that? that. Or spin? I think I need to keep that. Yeah. Yes, you do. <laughs> Don't worry. All right. Uh, so I will take away the wheel. I will take away Mr. Coho. Uh, Dylan, you are much more of a horror guy than I am. Would you like to read John his questions in post-2010 horror anthologies? Absolutely. All right. So, John, your first question in post-2010 horror anthologies. In VHS 2, from Phase 1 clinical trials section, after being frightened by a bleeding man and a young girl, the patient sleeps where for a night? In his bathtub. That is correct for two points. We had bathroom Sorry. and then in brackets also accept bathtub. <laughs> it's not sleeping on the floor. It's not comfortable. All right. In Southbound, what is the name of the band that Sadie is in? Multiple choice. Your options are A, the Blue Jays, B, the Red Lights, C, the Yellow Heights, or D, the White Tights. The White Tights. That is correct for one point. In the birthday party segment of XX, Mary hides her husband's corpse in what kind of costume? A rapping panda, or just a panda. That is correct for two points. That sounds sick. <laughs> <laughs> Penultimate question. Who directed the amateur night segment in VHS? I was just asked this yesterday. <laughs> David Buckner. That is incorrect for the two-point steal. Oh, we'll go to Andrew. Um, David Wingard. That is also incorrect. We are looking for David oh. Bruckner, Bruckner with an R. Oh, dude, yes. no, I just looked up the directions of those at one point. And I couldn't think of any. <laughs> yeah. That's your, right. your final question, John. In Ghost Stories, how did Mike Priddle's wife die? Cancer. That is incorrect. We will go to Andrew for the two point steal. Hmm. Um. Car accident. That is also incorrect. The answer we have here is she died giving birth. That's right. Okay, I mixed it up with the other guy in the movie. Yeah, that's right. All right. So at the end of John Spin, I have himself getting up to nine points, and I have Andrew at six. Is that what you have, Dylan? Yes, that is what I have. All right, so we will bring back up the wheel for Andrew's spin. Woo. And your first spin is away. And you land on the category of Westerns. Would you like to keep that or spin again? <clears throat> I think I'll, uh, I'll spin again. All right, spinning again. Whatever you land on, you are stuck with. All right. You land on the category of actors and actresses. All right. Let's see how that goes. People who have been in movies. <laughs> Very specific. Uh, and I will be giving you your questions. Your first question. How many times did Grace Kelly work with Alfred Hitchcock as a director? I'm going to say three. That is correct for two points. Your next question. In what film did Eddie Murphy make his debut as an actor? Oh, oh, that's interesting. Uh, let's go multiple choice. Uh, this one, this one, I want to hear him. All right. Your multiple choice options are A, 48 Hours, B, Beverly Hills Cop, C, Trading Places, or D, The Golden Child. Okay, because that's the question, right? Is it the open air franchise? I feel like I've heard a tidbit of trivia. I'm going to run with it. I don't know if it's correct. Uh, I'm going to go with Beverly Hills Cop. That is incorrect, okay. John. For the one point steal, is it A, 48 Hours, B, Beverly Hills Cop, C, Trading Places, or D, The Golden Child? 48 Hours? That is correct for a one point steal. Mm -hmm. What movie character has been played by Sean Connery and Russell Crowe? Hmm. 
five, four. Multiple three. choice. All right, your multiple choice options are A, Dr. Jekyll, B, Inspector Javert, C, Robin Hood, or D, Ebenezer Scrooge. <clears throat> It's kind of... Yeah, I'm going to Dr. Jekyll. That is incorrect, John. <sighs> the one steal. Is it A, Dr. Jekyll, B, Inspector Javert, C, Robin Hood, or D, Ebenezer Scrooge? Robin Hood. That is correct for another one-point steal. I, dude, I didn't know Connery was a Robin Hood. That's crazy. Uh, your fourth question. Jim Belushi, John Candy, and Bill Murray... All appear in what musical? <sighs> Shoot. Five, four, three. Multiple choice again. All right, your multiple choice options are A, the Blues Brothers, B, Little Shop of Horrors, C, Xanadu, or D, the Producers. Do I get a free repeat of the options, or do I... Absolutely. Okay. Uh, your options, once again, are A, the Blues Brothers, B, Little Shop of Horrors, C, Xanadu, or D, the Producers. It was Xanadu. That is incorrect, John, for the one-point steal. Is it A, the Blues Brothers, B, Little Shop of Horrors, C, Xanadu, or D, the Producers? Little Shop of Horrors. That is correct for a one-point steal. Oh, I could not think of John Candy in that. He's the DJ. And your Ugh. final question, Andrew, okay. and can we just get hands? Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, what was the most recent film in which Gary Sinise and Tom Hanks appeared together? <laughs> I've got to go multiple. Right away, multiple choice on that. <laughs> Our multiple choice options are A, Apollo 13, B, The Green Mile, C, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, or D, Sully. Gary Sinise and... I'm going to go Sully. That is incorrect, John, for the one-point steal. Is it A, Apollo 13, B, The Green Mile, C, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, or D, Sully? I have no idea. A green Mile? That is correct for Damn, one Damn, dude. Oh. So at the end of round number two, I have John at 13, Andrew at eight. Is that what you have, Dylan? Yep. All right, then we will get into round number three. Round number three is our pick your poison round. Our competitors are going to get to choose what they want for their one, two, three, and four point questions. The categories that our competitors can choose from today are horror, coming of age slash teen, 2010s, crime, biopics, westerns, war, and sports. So we will let our competitors choose what they want for their one, two, three, and four point questions. And we will be right back. And we are back. Our competitors have had the chance to choose what they want for their one, two, three, and four point questions. John has chosen his one in sports, his two in biopics, his three in crime, and his four in horror. Whereas Andrew has chosen his one in biopics, his two in crime, his three in 2010s, and his four in coming of age slash teen. Uh, so we will start with Andrew's questions. He will he will answer questions until he has either caught up or been mathematically eliminated. Uh, and because I took Andrew's questions around two, Dylan will be taking them in round three. Uh, any questions before we get going? I think I'm good. All right, Dylan, take it away. Yep. So, Andrew, your one point question in biopics What decade does Richard Jewell take place? The 90s. That is correct for one point. So, then we will go over to your two point question in crime Steve McQueen and Faye Dunaway star together in what 60s crime film? The Great Escape? That is incorrect. We were looking for the Thomas Crown Affair. Damn. Yeah. All right. Three and four. So then we going to go to your... I believe uh, you do... Uh... Oh, no. No, they can miss this one, one and then these. still tie it with the yeah, four. Yeah, if you yeah. hit your four, you'll tie. So. Okay. Yeah. So we will go to your three-point question in 2010s. In Get Out, what is the name of the realm Chris's consciousness is sent to when he is hypnotized? That would be the sunken place. That is correct for three points. 
So now you will need to hit your four point question in coming of age to stay alive and send it back to John, uh, John Mar. So your four point question in coming of age. What film features American Eagle Christian School? Five, four, three, two. Repeat. Great. That is your first repeat, I believe. What film features American Eagle Christian School? All right. Oh, we need both hands on yes. screen. Yes, yeah, I'm fidgeting. That's um, five. Three, two, repeat. It's your second repeat. What film features American Eagle Christian School? I'm going to go with Boy Erased. And your winner by way of technical knockout, John Marr. We were looking for saved. Oof. Saved. Uh, so with that being said, we are going to get into post-match interviews, starting with our unfortunate second-place finisher, Andrew. Uh, Andrew, you put up a hell of a fight round one. Uh, you had the lead, and then round two, I think just actors and actresses was not a category you were yeah. really wanting. And John <laughs> seemed to know all of those questions. Right, yeah. <laughs> didn't confidently know them. Um, but, yeah, I still think uh, great match. And then also John got a strength, and it's hard to do anything against that. Uh, but, mm -hmm. yeah, how are you feeling? I'm all right. Uh, yeah, I've definitely been a bit stressed coming up to this match just with school stuff going on. Um, but actors and actresses, I thought, you know, I'm pretty familiar with like specific sects. Like I, I think I know like a lot of the comedy world a lot better than others and, and stuff like that. But you know, if it goes back to, to, you know, eighties, nineties, like I'm not peak there. Um, and you know, a lot of the questions um, were more associated with like older actors or, or older movies, which, you know, just not where I thrive. Um, I think that's where I should have done better though. You know, um round one was pretty solid and then yeah round two just didn't go my way mostly um gave me a tough spot for round three like i, I would have been nice to try to secure something with like um like an easy one two three but you know when you're five points of behind getting six points in round three isn't gonna do much for you so yeah fair enough um so you are now one and one uh i assume we will be seeing you in the upcoming tournament uh one and one is uh sure to get you a seed of some number <laughs> I don't know enough about these things. I do tournament and I don't know what it is. Uh, but yeah, we will be seeing you again. Uh, thoughts on the tournament? Uh, I don't have anything specific. I, I just, uh, I definitely think I have a lot to prove, um, you know, coming in and, and still, I would say very much a rookie. So I, I just hope to, to impress at least a little bit, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we look forward to seeing you. So we will say goodbye to Andrew. We will bring in John and Mr. Caleb Coho. Uh, John, you pulled it out. You got another TKO. So I believe you're now two and O oh with two TKOs. Uh, not a bad place to be. Uh, how are you feeling? It doesn't feel like I TKO'd him. I feel like absolute garbage. Like I feel, I, I am more miserable now than I was when I started. So it's like, <laughs> like, like, like I, I left an, like I'm just, I, I won and I'm so goddamn down on myself like i said buckner instead of bruckner i mixed up the dead wives in that movie like what a piece of shit i am like, what a piece of shit I am, that know? just comes down that just yeah. comes down to we were exhausted yeah. yeah we played probably our worst game we will ever play yeah like, uh, and it resulted in a tko again yeah imagine so, if i stand <laughs> i'm just saying two and oh two yeah. tkos and one of those tkos came in one of the worst games we've ever played yeah i like i think we can only go up from here uh, yeah, and yeah. and by up, I mean taking the glasses off of Jake Meltzer's face. Oh yeah, I want. Yeah, I'm still looking for Jake. If I gotta take Bill's hat and then Jake's glasses, we can do it that way. It's fine. I'll put that. And then we'll do hat right back there, and everybody can look at it. I'll put Bill Cariola's hat, and then I'll, I'll put a museum back here of all the crap I take from. We you. will literally take the hat and put yeah. objects from each member of DMC as we systematically TKO each one. Yeah. 
If, uh, uh, if I'll, I'll say this for me, that, that headband, I'll take that and put it on yeah. the wall. Yeah. Well, I'll say this for Andrew. <laughs> Andrew played fine. Yeah, he did. A lot of rookie jitters. Did all right, buddy. Don't worry about it. Uh, you can, you can, you can get, you can get better. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. You just ran into a wrecking crew. You ran into the worst game this wrecking crew played. Still yeah. results in a TKO. Love so, it. the next time we will be seeing John uh, will be in the tournament. Yeah, uh, we'll a 2-0 record is guaranteed to get you a seed that is higher than Andrew's. And that's all I know. Once again, I did not seed the tournament. I'm going to rub it in Andrew's face. I don't know face. what we're yeah. doing. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Uh, so, in order to reach Mr. Meltzer, as you said, you're going to have to run your way through this whole tournament uh thoughts and feelings about said doing so we said it in red shaw's match we say it with every kingsman who's going to be in the tournament a kingsman's winning the tournament we don't know which one but i like i would like to think john's got a really good chance of doing it All right. we got Meltzer's glasses waiting for us at the end yeah and I want the actual glasses. Don't go buy new glasses. I want the glasses that you talk shit in. Send those in the mail. We want the glasses that you wore when you said you were happy that we were beltless, you fucker. Yeah. Let's go. Put, put those glasses in the mail. Well, all right. We will say goodbye to John and Coho before they say things that uh, Cody will make me regret letting them say on camera. <laughs> uh, Dylan, final thoughts on this match. Yeah, look, I mean, it was a TKO in the end, but I still feel like Andrew showed a lot of promise, especially in round one, getting the two-point lead over someone who is as highly touted as John as a rookie. That's pretty impressive. Uh, just John landed on his strength and was able to pick up steals from uh, Andrew's category, and he was able to come back after facing adversity, which is also very impressive. Yeah, absolutely. Well, with that being said, we are going to get out of here. So I have been Cameron Holzman, and on behalf of Dylan Van Thine, Caleb Coho, John Marr, and Andrew Just, thank you all for watching. This has been Movie uh, Multiplex Movie Warzone. Have a great whatever time of day it is that you're watching this video. Bye-bye, boys! Have fun storming the castle! Think it'll work? It would take a miracle. Bye-bye!